it's Nina and today we'll be watching the Odd Ones Out animations. This video is going to be called My Thoughts on Bluey and honestly my thoughts of you, Bluey, I'm kind of a fan, not gonna lie. But let's see what they think about it. Okay, starting out. Oh, the little theme song! Oh, I love it. <laughs> can, can we play Space Explorer? Aww. Shut up for a second. I'm watching this. Not shut up for a, a second. <laughs> show. Oh, Why naturally charming. Babies. Look, don't <laughs> judge. Look, it's actually pretty good. Really sophisticated <laughs> and can be enjoyed by both children uh -huh. and adults. Hundred percent. Why don't you shut your ignorant mouth? Yeah. Who actually loves you to play your <laughs> little space game? <laughs> Dang! I wouldn't have taken it that far, but like, okay. You can't say that to your sister. You have to say nice things. Yeah. That's how you want to be treated, <laughs> mate. Oh. oh, I really needed to hear that today. Dang! Yeah, After what he just said. After literally what he just said to the child. The poor child, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah? What's it called? Uh, uh, are you familiar <laughs> with the Australian animated show? 100%. Show, I love it. Bluey? It's it's so awesome. It's so awesome. Anything like mine, you'll have seen yes, a that's my TikTok right now. Cartoon dog or for the most part, it was. Page, yes. Paired with Subway Surfer Highlight. Oh, yeah. 100%. Wow, TikTok. Love the Subway Clips Surfer. Of a foreign preschool show. I thought you were supposed to I crash my car. My oh my gosh. Let's read some of the comments on these Bluey TikTok shows. Ooh. No shade they're actually pretty good, right? School, but I watch Bluey religiously. Yeah, they're actually pretty good comments. All in my field. I'd say yes. I had a good childhood, yes. but I binge Bluey because adult life is so hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Of a simpler time. Bluey is for everyone. I, <laughs> I feel like it's so much more like, like the comment show. section is actually help. Like also, who wishes he had this child? Or just kidding. <laughs> say like it's actually good on those bluey tiktoks the comments are amazing and then you're like yeah no no just my life sucks thank you bluey for helping me not suck as much <laughs> like, yeah. oh my gosh huh. the one of these are not like the others you know to me <laughs> i'm just thinking out loud here. yeah uh-huh it seems like a lot of these comments are older people preschoolers yeah 100 percent. what's going on here i was you probably know, in there too brain <laughs> is anything like mine you'll be thinking why is this show about Australian dogs so popular with adults who don't even have children? Uh... Fact, have over 5 billion views on TikTok. Oh my it's gosh, I didn't know it was that Central, much. Peppa Pig and Coco Melon. Dang! And this episode number eight Bluey's taking, taking over the world, guys! Bluey's taking over the world! That's crazy. This phenomenon intrigued me. And yes. I was also bullied by a large number of people on my own team. Join us! Show. Join us! One day I sat down... <laughs> Put on the first episode. Like, let's see and... what it's all this. You're now a Bluey fan. Congratulations. Welcome to the brain. I watched all 141 episodes. <laughs> 141. Hey, I didn't even James, know there's so much. 141. Dang. But there's only 129 on Disney Plus. Oh, some of them are banned be in America, right? Bluey fan. We're gonna talk about that later. Thank you. I work in cartoons, Ooh. and I've been to furry conventions. So Ooh. Bluey has always been on my radar of shows I'm aware of. I've been watching passively through I TikTok. Saw, <laughs> I adored the art style, especially the backgrounds. So, so nice. So it is really nice. My own background team has studied and taken Aww. inspiration from Bluey's backgrounds. Awesome! See my backgrounds taking on a more like slowly turning it to a Bluey I mean, just setting. Look at the colors. It looks good. Especially their greens. It oh does look God. really nice. Doesn't Not gonna lie, guys. You can't deny that actually face? does look nice. While I was yes. watching the first season, I realized what. Oh. Okay, okay, I see why this show is so. Popular. Yeah, you getting into it, it's huh? Really a good show. We've already established that the show yeah, is great it is. to look at, it is. but Check the it out, voice guys. acting, the sound design, and the music are equally as amazing. It's so it's good! It's great to listen to. <laughs> While most, if not all, other preschool shows will hire adults who can sound like toddlers, oh, yeah. Bluey gets actual children oh, to I didn't know that. child characters. Oh, that's so Somehow, awesome! Every Australian toddler and Bluey can be so expressive and emotional. Oh, it's I love that! that the that's a... of child actors I didn't know that was a thing! Or maybe it's just their Aussie accents that I like. I <laughs> the know. accent the is what does it have from. so much personality. And the comedic timing is something I've oh. never seen before in a preschool show. I love it. I can't think of a single time Coco Melon has made me laugh this much. I know, right? Or even I smile. Mean, no, not gonna lie. Coco Melon does make me laugh because, like... <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, they will be doing some weird, it's like, oh, oh man, what was this one thing that happened? It was like, they were talking about, like, eating sugar? Yes, Papa, like, it was like, 
I don't, I don't know. There's just something about Coco Melon. Some of them. It's a little bit funny, not gonna lie. And characters are Chili and Bandit, the parents, and Bluey and Bingo, the six and four year old daughters. Yes. Yes, Bluey. Daughters! And yes! Yes, yes on, people! The show <laughs> also does not hide the fact that it's Australian. Australian. It references multiple Australian locations. Oh, that's cool! Animals. They call flip flops thongs, and they say things like. They call it thongs! Four. While some recent <laughs> shows focus on teaching kids numbers One, and letters, two. Blue focuses on the relationship of the family and teaches its perfect. lessons through the make pretend. We all need the this. Family play. We all need this. And I want to emphasize yes. how perfect these two parents are. These two are the most patient and emotionally aware Aww. parents I've seen ever. Just there perfect are multiple guys. Times where the parents apologize to their kids for frankly not even doing anything. I wrong. love that. But yes. Is, uh, <laughs> the most perfect dad role model. Okay, check this out. Bingo was sad that dad didn't get to see Aww. the leaf bug outside. She was like, Daddy, come and see. Come here, Daddy. Come, Daddy. Come Daddy, where are you? Get over here, Daddy. Playing with Bluey, you know, being a present father True. in her life. True. True. At night, she's all boo hoo about it, and you he can't, kneels you know. down gets to her level, and apologizes, explaining Aww. that he didn't hear her. Now, I don't That's have so kid, amazing. But if I spent my That's weekend so amazing. running around with toddlers, and then right before bed, one of them said, <laughs> you didn't get to see the ladybug. It's like, man, fight the ladybug! That's okay. I've already seen a ladybug. Oh. Tonight, oh. In one episode, Chicken Rat, True. Bingo lost her favorite toy. You never even thought. Asked, because, well, you know, kids have feelings, too, you know, guys? The two retrace Bingo steps, and through flashbacks, we see this bizarre day that Bluey and Bingo had. Oh. The very first flashback we see, Bluey and Bingo are cooking a chicken rat egg. I'm, like, learning a lot right now, guys, not gonna lie. And through this creative, backward storytelling, mm. we piece together what a chicken rat is and how the kids ended up in this situation. <laughs> it's episodes like that which really make me appreciate oh, that's so the adorable. that went into the show. Yes. And really sets Bluey apart from every As other tear! 100%. Show. Most preschool shows stick to a formula and talk down to the viewer. Yeah. Because typically their viewers are... Two plus short. two equals four. Say it with me. Say, you know, stuff like that. show teaches you how to be a good parent. Because I don't know how to be a good parent. I know, but right? <laughs> don't have any children, but... That are just as important I am really learning. Learn. So as while well. watching season one, I got a feel for the world. And oh, I got a little closer to that TV. Together. Okay, this show is depicting perfect parents. It's well written and wholesome. Mm -hmm. Anyone, regardless of having kids, can enjoy the show. 100%. Let's watch the rest, shall we? Yes! Oh my god, the explosion! Season I'm not ready for it every time. Season three is when things go from a hundred uh -huh. to a thousand. Oh, this is tell me about it. Cover deep and emotional topics that I think toddlers are too baby to understand. Too Let's lazy. See, there's the struggles of keeping romance in your relationship alive when you have two toddlers to look after. Oh. Like taking time to play with your kids can have a ripple effect that lasts into adulthood. Oh. As a mom, what it's like having a dad in the army, parents disagreeing on different parenting styles, moms getting tipped. This is actually what? I heard about that one. I heard about, I heard about that one. I was like, ugh. Actually, that one was in season one. You can't even compare Bluey to other preschool. One hundred percent. They don't talk about that. That's like that's just the no. Even doing. They're like no. That's a big no no. Those topics are big no nos. Who are also going to be watching our show? Dora had the Taxes. same formula every episode, and there was a map who sang a song that was just repeating the uh -huh. same three words. I'm the map. Times. I'm the map. Season I'm two, the map. <laughs> Basically, Chili is telling Bluey about how when she was a baby, she wasn't crawling or rolling over as fast as the other babies in her. And mind that's group. okay. And she compared Bluey's developmental delay to the other babies and felt inadequate as a mother. Aww. And then this pink poodle comes to console her, looks directly into the camera, and says. You're doing great. I'm a he him male with no kids, and I still get teary eyed just thinking Aww, about that. Episode. I love that. that Bluey is a kid show. That You're doing great. Like, oh no, man. That episode wasn't for the kids, it was for it the was adults. 100%. The parents. Who are doubting their motherhood. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. All the babies stop singing mid nursery rhymes and then just look at the camera and say, Hey, Mom, just wanted to say you're doing a great job. Imagine that. would actually be kind of scary, not gonna lie. Like, no, that'll never happen. I'm still not done talking I love about that. how impressive I the love writing that. in Bluey is, okay? So please indulge me Bluey's for a bit. Amazing, guys. I'm switching into oh my video gosh. I think I'm falling more and more in love with it as, as he continues to talk about it. favorite Bluey episodes, Flatback. Oh, Flatback? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I love the dancing. 
Let's go. Let's do it. The I'm into it. The episode is an allegory Flat of pack. human history told from a religious and scientific perspective, respectively. Interesting. And it touches on the ever-growing relationships between a mother and child. Okay. In seven minutes. Seven no, minutes. I'm not reading too deep oh. into this. Let's begin. I didn't know that one episode was seven minutes long. To build a new swing for their porch, and we get this great meta self-aware joke from Bandit when he complains about the instructions, saying, "I'm, I'm not, not taking advice from, from a cartoon, cartoon dog." dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls play games <laughs> with the leftover cartoon dog that are thrown into the yard by their parents. Yes, Bingo kids love toys, anything that has water, that's not actually toys, you know. Then they're given cards. The imagination is incredible, land, impeccable. So they frogs. You know. Then they're given tails and become lizards. Aww. Then T Rexes, then birds. The then imagination. Is this chart starting to look familiar? Then they're monkeys and then bipedal cave dogs. What? Interesting. Is that you, Mr. Darwin? Wait, Were what? Girls playing out the evolution. I, I, that, that went over my head. That went over my head. I was just talking about how cute they were. I know you're going to love the parents being an allegory for the creators. You know, what? The, the, the big guy upstairs. Oh, about the, God and the, such. Whatever you believe is going on. The parents Is that supply the girls they with their entire world. They give the girls the sea, the land, the volcanoes, and the trees. Just throwing it down, and they're just having fun with the it. The girls make that tell their history. They depict the parents as gods. Oh, and in the clouds, they do. I've never seen angry. this before. Perhaps they're still in the Old Testament. The parents, <laughs> the creators, <laughs> the is still in the Old Testament. Oh my gosh! She looks at the girls lovingly, saying, "Aw, we, we made, made them." them. The parents give the girls an Allen wrench, aka tools, and one industrial revolution later, the girls. Not them going through the entire. Dogs. What? The it's not the whole technology error and everything. The episode, as the girls go wow. through different stages of evolution, they also go through different stages of their lives as a mother and child. Very emotionally as intelligent children, children, I tell you. Mommy Fish and Bingo is the baby. Then, as frogs, Bingo pretends to be a toddler, and Bluey teaches her how to catch flies. Then, as T Rexes, Bingo becomes a big girl then as cave dogs she's a teenager and finally in the last stage she's all grown up ready to traverse the I love universe that. on her own i love she that i would have never been able to read into this leaves on her spaceship i'll just been like oh my god cute older, cute cartoon older, having to use a cane crosses the styrofoam threshold which represents her death and she gets to live with her creators all oh, while this orchestral masterpiece is playing, and suddenly you realize I would have never connected the dots. What the freak? <gasps> what? And saying, say, "Ah, oh, this is heaven." Are you joshing me right now? That is crazy. Allegorical story with tasteful religious undertones in how many minutes? And I, I, I would have never picked that up on this. Maybe I gotta watch more Bluey, Bluey, and look more into the episodes. You know, guys. essay on. Oh my god. There are episodes that hit just as hard as this one. That's crazy. That's crazy. I gotta look at the Bluey, guys. Another foreign anime. I just seen the clips. Eight minute long episodes. What Peppa Pig? Focus on a family of two toddlers. Except, unlike Bluey, uh -huh. this show is universally hated. 100%. Yeah, they said... Kai oh, Kai! Kai. <laughs> <laughs> At least a Kaio. 100%. Kaiyu because he was a more accurate portrayal of a toddler. But in the handful An of angry Kaiyu episodes toddler, right? I watched, I was reminded, Oh, no, that's why people hate Kaiyu. Because he sucks. His <laughs> I'm so, I saw so many bad things about Kaiyu, guys. Nowhere. Kaiyu will be getting ready in the morning. <laughs> he would just throw tantrums. Gilbert, look what, what you, you did. did. He's at the beach <laughs> and the nothing wrong gets told to go away. And there's a bunch <laughs> more examples of Kaiyu. Oh, you're just really pitching his little pieces. sister. <laughs> and I can't help but think. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kaiyu is actually funny, not gonna lie. Piercing, whiny voice <laughs> does not help him be a likable character. Oh yeah, I probably not. 100%. Toddlers can be little punk sometimes. Yeah. Why would you show that in your cartoon <laughs> and not have him learn any lesson? There's oh never no. There's no Kaiyu. Since Caillou was a brat, they're not a lesson. I just realized that he just throws a tantrum and gets his like way, right? Never disciplined or even tried. Ah, what? To try to <laughs> but after I thought That's about crazy. it, I realized it would be a very weird episode of Caillou if one day Caillou's mom was like, "Caillou, yeah, what do you do to your sister. <laughs> what do you do to your sister, mommy? Caillou, that was mommy's expensive. Not you throwing thing. the baby out the window. How many window. times do I have to tell you not to touch mommy's thing? He's about to get a beat. Dang! Dang. <laughs> <laughs> no! 
have a satisfying smile on his face. I'm like, yes, that's what he deserved this entire time. That kid got what was exactly. <laughs> oh know, my gosh, that would be cathartic to some parents. Anyways, yeah, they'll be relatable. Back to the not actual lie. best children's show ever. <laughs> Even though Bluey is literally the most mentally intelligent and educational uh, show for 100%. the minds of children, teens, That's adults, and actually parents, actually crazy. Some unnamed what? mouse company decided to censor Mickey? some of the episodes. Oh, Disney! Platform. It's the strangest. I thing heard about that. They banned some too. things, like this sen- horse pooping, bandit getting hit in the groin, bandit saying the word groin. groin. This hitchhiker oh, is no longer. Is that not acceptable? That kind of weird. This pretend cat saying it will pretend. They've seen a lot like worse. Like I'm pretty sure kids have seen a lot worse. Snip, snip down there. Adults or like YouTube about. or and something. I'm 100 percent sure you guys have seen like or much episodes like, in the series. Toddlers have seen much Disney Plus, worse stuff. But that could just be a licensing thing. I don't know. I Maybe that's so, yeah. The infertility episode. I heard so much about. Oh, I seen that I on TikTok. The last episode on Disney Plus. And they don't have it. Oh, okay. They're saving the deepest one for last. Oh. All right, let's do, do this. Do they actually have it? And the episode was about the family playing courtroom to determine Phoenix if Wright. Bandit farted. I what? Hope a chance. I mean, you're Where'd you watch the band episodes? I kind of want to see them. You got to be at least a little interested in it. 100%. It's relatable and I love realistic it. Portrayal of like this, life. this video has convinced me to watch more also Bluey, not going to lie, guys. To its viewers. The shows and look more into it. And family bonding I love it. It's so refreshing to see compared to the Because I wasn't thinking about this stuff at all. Mind-numbing shows aimed at kids. Yeah, Bluey that's actually not good for your brains. All this fast-paced stuff. Like TikTok. Funny enough. Every day. I love it. And if you still don't I love it so much, Bluey, guys. Have you thought about getting high and watching it? Oh my gosh, why are we had to get off like that? <laughs> Anyways, guys, Dev, let me know what you guys think about Bluey. Have you seen it? Will you watch it now? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe for virtual cookie. Mm-hmm.